Hey guys, and welcome to Cruise Basics. Let's talk five best cruise websites to book on. Stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome to Cruise Basics. This is Sean, your host. Let's talk about the five best cruise websites to book your cruise on. Now, it's all about what is easier for you. And I got the top five, and what I wanna do is I wanna go over the top four and then explain the number one uh, website, which, you know, we'll get to that. So let's start with number five. Let's talk about cruise critics. With cruise critics, when you're booking online, you're going to go through it. You're going to put, okay, I'm going to the Bahamas. I want to go to the Bahamas. I want to go in June. You're going to type all that in there and then it's going to come up. Th those pricings are for other websites. It's going to take you to a different website. It's either going to take you to one of their affiliate partners or that it's going to take you to the cruise lines website itself. So are you getting the best deal out there? You never know. What it's going to do is it's going to search that and it's going to go all the way through it and pick out the cheapest ones at that time and then you pick from the list. So let's go to number four. Number four is TripAdvisory. Same thing. You're going to go on there. You're going to pick your cruise. It's going to take you to an affiliate website of theirs or it's going to go to the cruise line itself. Basically, what that's doing is is that it's creating a market that doesn't change the price for you. Everything is going to be the same. The cruise lines are keeping that regulated so that everybody is selling at an equal fair share of, of pricing. Now, TripAdvisor actually gives you a little bit more because there's going to be more reviews. A lot of people out there will use TripAdvisor just like they use cruise critics i can't tell you how many times i've talked to people and they said have i read this on cruise critics or i saw this on trip advisory so all in all it's going to be the same thing with both of those websites they're going to go to the best deal that's out there on the webs on, on the internet and it's going to take you to that website the next one is going to be priceline Priceline is number three because what I think Priceline is, it's a little bit easier to guide you around their website. Now, Priceline is going to be the same as number two as well. Uh, so it, it, <clears throat> it's easier to guide. It's easier to get your information. Um, number two where it's coming from is Expedia. Expedia is dominant in this website booking engines where you, know, you can book flights. Uh, car rentals, hotels, just like Priceline. Um, and it's going to give you that same easy flow, pushing the buttons, getting to the spot that you need to enter your credit card in. So let's all go back to, let's talk about the number one website. It's actually not a website. In my opinion, the number one way to book a cruise, because it is so complex, so complicated, so many deals, so many promotions, is to call your travel agent because here's the thing is that when you call a travel agent you're going to get their promotions from that travel agent as well plus the promotions from the cruise lines and they're looking out for your best interest a computer is not going to say okay i want to book this cruise and i want this promotion or i want this promotion plus your secret promotion that you can't advertise on the website because the cruise lines contracts won't allow us to so you got to be careful because you want the best deal you want the best bang for your buck is my recommendation number one call your travel agent or even call your cruise line if you don't want to book through a travel agent because they have more deals that they are not allowed to put on their website so just be careful because I want you to have the best deal that's out there. Like for instance, I have one person that calls me and says, Hey Sean, I want to book a cruise. I saw this on Priceline. So I go to Priceline. I look at the price. I look at what they're offering and say, Oh, wait a minute. I can give you 
a $25 onboard credit. So, you know, you keep that in mind because the website's not going to give you an extra $25 of onboard credit. You know, what I tell my people is, is if you want to go ahead and book with them, go ahead and book with them. But here's the catch. Would you ever walk past a $20 bill on the ground? Because if the answer is yes, then go ahead and book with that other, that, that website. Because if the answer is no, you got an extra 20 bucks. That's a drink. That's a, a specialty restaurant uh, that you don't have to pay full price for. That could be a t-shirt. That could be anything on board that you would get. So don't get caught up in the book online uh, sit, uh, extravaganza. I, I mean, it, it's easy. It's convenient. And you don't have to talk to anybody. So, you know, it, it is there as a convenience. Um, but you're missing out on deals that are out there that a travel agent or even the cruise line would give you that's not online. So here's my final thoughts. My final thoughts on this is one, book with a person, call them, talk to them. That's why they're there. That's why they're getting paid. That's what the whole thing is about is getting that connection, talking to someone, getting that extra stuff that you wouldn't get online. Two, if you want to do it online, go ahead and book it on Expedia, Priceline, Travel Advisor, or <clears throat> Cruise Critics. Um, I always tell people uh, that if you book it with me, you can still talk to, you know, you can still go on to Cruise Critics and, and look at what you're looking for and, and then call me back, you know. Um, so overall, I would say my number one thing is book with someone over the phone get that extra bonus for calling and booking them. Other than that, you guys have a great rest of your day. If you need anything, don't hesitate. Shoot me a comment. All the links for these websites will be down in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.